A very short summary on the use of labetalol in the treatment of hypertension in pregnancy. Uh, labetalol is one of the common uh, antihypertensive drug used to control the blood pressure in pregnant patients. Basically, uh, labetalol is the adrenergic receptor blocking agents that have both selective alpha-1 adrenergic and non-selective beta-adrenergic receptor blocking actions. Uh. In a single substance, uh, they have uh, two forms, a tablet form and also the solution form. And the um, tablet form comes with, with a three strength, 300 mg, 200 and 100 mg, and the solution in the vial of 25 mg, labitalol. And if you look at the uh, top table here, and this uh, table showed how to dilute the... Uh, Labitalol, so that you obtain the 1 mg per ml of Labitalol in infusion, in solution. So what you should do is uh, get the uh, 8 ampule of uh, Labitalol hydrochloride uh, ampule, uh, solution and then dilute it into the 200 ml of uh, sodium chloride. You can also use a 5% dextrose uh, solution and by doing this you get the one milligram per ml concentration of labitalol infusion and this is important for the purpose of um, giving imp uh, infusion to patient and also a uh, bolus injection if uh, you have a patient let's look at the lower table here if you have patient with hypertensive crisis there are two options how to control the blood pressure first is you can give a bolus dose of uh, 20 mg uh, labitalol as an initial dose we inject within the 2 minutes or you can give then you subsequently you can give uh, you can repeat the uh, injection 40 and up to 80 mg injection at the 10 minute 10 minutes interval the second option is you can use the intravenous infusion by <coughs> preparing like what i mentioned just now and to obtain the 1 mg per ml and you can start uh, infuse uh, at the rate of 20 mg per hour so meaning that 20 ml per hour as the initial dose and uh, as a subsequent dose you can maintain at 40 mg per hour and you can increase the um, infusion rate to 80 and up to 160 mg uh, per hour and this can be done at 30 minutes interval and please uh, closely monitor the patient and uh, the other option that you can use to control the blood pressure is that by giving the uh, or tablet form uh, you can start with a 200 milligram tablet as initial dose and then subsequently you can repeat uh, 200 milligrams uh, in every uh, 30 minutes interval uh, until the blood pressure is stabilized uh. And as for the maintenance uh, dose, you can give, can start patient with a 100 mg BD twice daily, meaning the 200 mg daily, and uh, monitor the blood pressure every day. And you can increase the uh, dosage uh, by 100 mg per dose uh, every week uh, until you uh, achieve the uh, optimum uh, blood pressure. Okay, in terms of side effect, uh, as you can see uh, in this table, uh, labitalol is quite uh, safe uh, drugs as compared to the other beta blockers. Uh, the, uh, generally, the side effect is less than 5% and perhaps the most common one is uh, central and peripheral nervous system problems, uh, dizziness in 11% of cases. Uh, but uh, the, other, the rest of the systems, uh, the side effect is quite minimal. Fatigue in 5% of cases, headache 2% of uh, cases, then nausea 6%, and dyspepsia in 3% of cases, taste distortion, nasal stiffness, uh, and, uh, and ejaculation failure, important, less than 3%. Then you have a cardiovascular problems like edema, post hypotension in only 1% of cases, dyspnea 2%, rashes uh, in 1%. So generally, labitalol is uh, safe drugs. And uh, and of course, uh, as compared to the other beta blockers, probably this is the best drug for management of hypertension during pregnancy. Thank you very much for your attention.